Good morning, everybody. It's Jeremy and Lynn. Good morning. We, uh, Miss Lynn's wanting to catch cows. So, um, if any of y'all ever caught cows and worked cows, uh, you know kind of how that can go. So, uh, we done stopped and prayed this morning. <laughs> um, and asked the Lord to help us. Because, um, you can be happy as a lark one minute. And, uh, you go to work in a bunch of cows. And if you don't watch it, you'll be ill or the devil just in a few minutes. <laughs> so uh, we went ahead and prayed about that thing. Uh, Lynn's got some caves she's wanting to call. Them. So um, we're going to try to take a trip to the stockyard if if we can catch some. So uh, we thought we'd just bring you all along. Hope you're having a good day. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Just hang on. We're going to see if we can't catch some of these old crazy black cows and Miss Lynn. <laughs> Um, that's the good thing about these Brahmas. They'll come right to you, but these black ones, that's a different story. Uh, but Lord, ain't she pretty this morning, y'all? She's too pretty to get out here and look at a bunch of old cows, but uh, she's needing to get some to the sale. So I told her I'd drive, so we'll see what happens. But thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned, and uh, hopefully we'll end up in Stockyard. Looking forward to spending the day with you. How about that? How about that? She come at me this morning, and she said, Give me a hug. I said, it's too early in the morning for that. <laughs> uh, we got to have a little fun, but uh, thank y'all for watching. I can figure out how to turn this blooming thing on. Well, y'all, we've made it over here to the cow lock. All of them we want up here except for that one. So we're going to see if we can go and find her. Hey, we're Miss Lynn. We are. So we're praying and believing for God to help us. We better get the boat before she tears it. We've got one trying to Wait. eat the feed out of the back of the gator. <laughs> All right, y'all, hang on. We'll see what we can do. So the cows are all following us because they are ready to get some of that sweet feed. We've kind of spoiled them. Y'all, now's the big question. Will they go in there or won't they? Well, we're going to hope they will. We are hoping they will. We'll see anyway. We asked the Lord to help us and help these cows, so we have caught. Uh, We've caught one that we want for sure. But uh, hopefully these others will make their way in there. We hope. There's always one of them standing in the way. Maybe some of them will go on the way there and we can try to catch them. And uh, we'll see what happens. I appreciate y'all watching. We want to welcome all the new subscribers. We appreciate you. Appreciate your prayers. I've had so many reach out to me. And just want you to know I appreciate it um, more than you know. And I ask you to keep praying because I really would appreciate it. We do appreciate and love all of you. Hopefully, before long, you get to see Miss Lynn in the catch pen. Mm -hmm. You have to pull that gate kind of at an angle back towards that other one. Oh. You don't want to cut yeah. that string. Yeah. Lord, look what a pretty woman in there fixing the load of cows. <laughs> Just pull that thing back towards the angle up there and leave it at an angle and it'll make, make you shoot to get them to come down this way. You know what I mean? Yeah. You think that's good? Pull it back just a little further. And if you can get them all to come at one time, it'll do better.
to take just a minute and include some footage um, of this cow. So this is a special cow. She's been with us for a long, long time. Um, we named her Ethel. We're not sure where that name come from, but she has been our herd cow for years and years. And so it's kind of sad because they become part of the family and you love them, you grow to love them. And so we've put this day off as long as we could, but um, today we are gonna have to um, take her to the market. Um, to sell her. Well, y'all, she did good. She's got four yearlings. Four yearlings on the front end and the old cool cow on the back. So, uh, y'all just keep watching. We are stockyard bound. Hey, we thought we would come back and just talk to you just a little bit more before we hit the road. We're getting ready to head um, towards Siler City. But like Jeremy said, I'm just so thankful that the good Lord helped us. Um, he just helped us find favor and was able to load the cows easily, catch them and load them. And so the last couple of days have been pretty rough. So that's why we definitely wanted to, which you should start out every day with prayer, but we definitely wanted to start this adventure out. But just, I have so much to be thankful for. And, um, you know, even when things are going bad, you just, sit back and look and just thank God for all the many blessings and I just want to say I'm thankful to have a job that you know allowed me to take a vacation day today so that I could um, work on the farm here to get this done and just spend the day with my sweetheart. Ain't she something y'all? She is something. Boys I'll tell you if you got a girl and a load cow you better get you one. She sure put these on the trailer. Y'all just keep a watching. different times is every year for my birthday I would ask my parents all I wanted was for them to bring me to the stockyard and dump me out and let me stay all day and let me uh, just stay over here all day long and then come back late that night and pick me up that's what I wanted for my birthday and I don't know how many years we we did that. We started that. And that was my favorite birthday gift. We, uh, they would bring me over and leave me. Now you couldn't do that today. The meanest people is, but even as a little boy, I knew who owned the stockyard and I knew a lot of the cow buyers. So mother and daddy knew if I needed something that they would um, they would help me. And, uh, but they would bring me over here before they went to work. Like seven, 7.30 in the morning. Of course, now at that time, the stockyard didn't start, the sale didn't start till 10 o'clock, but Howard and Harry Lee Horney, they was the ones that owned it then. And uh, Terry, he run the restaurant then, and 
Of course, Lulu and all them girls in there, he was, a, he was different than it is now. But um, I'd come over here and stay all day long. And I'd be over here till, I don't know, they'd come get me about nine o'clock at night. And if the sale wasn't over, I'd just beg them to stay till it got over because I just loved being in the stockyard. And that was as a little boy. And uh, that's kind of fond memories for me. These, um, I've spent a many, many, many an hour at this stockyard from the time I was a little boy uh, up until I got grown. And, um, but, um, so Carolina Stockyard, even though it's way different now than it used to be, it's, uh, I don't know, I guess it's still always kind of be special to me. Had some good times over here at this place. And, um, me and Miss Lynn, she's got her cows in here. And, uh, when we get backed up here, we'll try to get them unloaded and get them in the barn. But, uh, we appreciate y'all watching. We do. And, uh, thank you for joining us. We ain't done yet, so y'all just can hang in there. Sitting here thinking about where you back up unload back here. The kettle is loaded out back here at the same time. Or, or it has, they use it for both unloading and loading. But I thought, I wish I had a dollar for every head of livestock that's been unloaded and loaded back here at the back of this old barn. Um, we'd have a bunch of dollars, you know. <laughs> but, um, Daddy was talking about last night about one of the last times that he had sold something over at the old stockyard. I don't remember it. Now, I know where it was at, but ever since I've been coming, it's been at this location here. And, uh, been a lot of a lot of livestock traded over here at this place but, uh, but it's different around here now than it used to be y'all we're getting closer there's two trailers ahead of us they get moved and and walked and walked and uh, I'm ready for them to get off too but we are backed up just waiting on the stock car y'all we got unloaded we're gonna come out the other side but you can see how many is lined up to be uh, unloaded I'm telling you y'all the dry weather is making a world of difference and uh, cattle is having to be sold. We're going into fall. We usually we have a lot of fall grazing. We don't have it this time. And it's very evident, as you can see, by the amount of trailers that is lined up here for cattle to be sold. All right, y'all, they've got lens and calves in this one. Walk this 
ramp right here many a time. Many a time. There's been a lot of kettle in this old barn. Y'all, she made it to the cafe. We are in the cafe at the stockyard. You see how it smiles? She's one happy youngin'. She hadn't had no breakfast. That's right. I'm hungry. <laughs> we got beef on the way. And 15, Well, y'all, we are uh, appreciate y'all watching. We uh, got unloaded and had lunch and watched them sell a few, and uh, they've got a load of feed on. So, got to take that back and check on our parents and all that kind of good stuff. But we appreciate you watching with us today. And uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, we'd appreciate it. And uh, if you like it, share the video. We do appreciate y'all's support. And uh, it's, um, it's been a good day because the tra tradition is whoever sells gets to buy dinner. So you know who bought dinner today? <laughs> Little Lynn. And then one of my cow buddies in here as a buyer, he said, yeah, but Jeremy, you should have bought hers because y'all look like you're on a date. I said, Donnie, you could have been on my side. But um, anyway, we'll see if we can not get her something to eat uh, sometime. But it's been a good day. Anyhow. It has been a good day. Tonight, though, if we come back, that that can count as our date. And you can buy oh, supper. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. Y'all hear that, don't you? She'll probably hold me to it. But we do appreciate you watching. Uh, stay tuned. We'll have more stuff coming up. Bye. And uh, I can't, I know this has been a cow video and I hadn't been to what you'd say talking much, but uh, I gotta say what I always say. Um, even if this has been a cow video, you keep, um, you love on some folks, you serve some folks, and keep bragging on Jesus. And I promise you'll get the blessing. Uh, that's just kind of my motto. And I want to share it with you every time if I can remember. So uh, we're going to try to slip back towards the house. Okay, bye.